Uh, y'all, yes, y'all, I'm experimenting with the word use of y'all. Today I went swimming out here. I'm out on a beach, long distance from everyone. I'm just going to go down with a shower now. It's a beautiful little walk down there too. Just looking at my new camera, how it shoots everything. It has a, a, a tiny bit of a partial wrap around on the screen. This um, phone. If you listen carefully, you'll hear birds. All kinds of weird noises. There's my electric bike. I'll be back first to shower. Someone's skateboard. Look how safe it is here in Australia. People just leave their stuff there. Feels really good to be back in that sense, actually. A nice amount of mana energy here. Just gorgeous, you know. Like I'm living like a retired person every day. Oh. It's much more relaxed in Australia than in Uruguay. I don't know why. I just get a much. I think the distance of people, you know, getting away from the hive connections. You know, the human light body is 33 feet, so 33 feet in all directions, above, below, forward and behind you. So when we're within 33 feet from other people, or like, you know, 11 meters, you're going to get light body incursion, you get brain sinking, whose heart field is strongest is going to get the others automatically brain sink with them. That's why you have all these zombie-like actions around you if you have a higher energy. Because the natural rhythm is to sink upward. And so it can seem like energy stealing and, you know, gang stalking, people hovering around you. But they'll just unconsciously be doing it. Another thing I've said is, you know, the positive ions just unconsciously attract negative, they pull negative ions, they're trying to be imbalanced, in balance with each other, so it's just good to get away from people so you avoid all those layers of that, have a nice little shower in here, plenty of birds up in the, I forgot what these trees are called, but this is all one big tree there. That's the stem and it just goes everywhere. We used to climb up in them as kids at our school so much. Make cubby houses in them. Some of them are huge, they just go on forever. <laughs> Almost looks like there's vines here, but there's not really. It's just the, the trees. 